Yeah. 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 So knowing you Judah, it, it's a requirement behind that. You know, you just can't know you an Israelite and continue living how you was living uh, prior to that. You know that? I'm learning. Okay. So let me show you the let me show you the requirement out the Bible. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So God requires something of us. When you require something of somebody, what, what does that mean? They expect, you to do they expect you to do something. So God made a covenant with us, and now he expects us to uphold the agreements in the covenant. So let's see what they are, read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. He said to fear the Lord thy God. You know how to fear God? So, so how, so how do you fear? You know you got to do right. How, how do you do right? I, do. I, I try not to treat people wrong. I don't steal. I, I try to do the right thing. I do right by people. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the Bible says. The Book of Psalms, chapter one, eleven, and verse ten. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the Bible says, when you fear God, you'll start to obtain wisdom. You'll start to become wise. What is that wisdom talking about? A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. And it said you will start to have a good understanding of the Bible once you start to do his commandments. So some of the stuff you name, you, you say you don't lie, you don't try to treat people bad. You said those are commandments because God commanded those, us those things in the Bible. Give me uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 15. So we, so now we're going and trying to get you to understand it biblically on how to fear God. All right, read that. The book of Sirach, chapter two and verse fifteen. They that fear the Lord will not disobey His word, and they that love Him will keep His ways. So, so God said, if we love Him and if we fear Him, we ain't gonna break His commandments. We're gonna keep His ways. You understand that? So that's what we got to do. We got to apply these commandments to our life. Did, have you learned some commandments since you've been over here? I mean, I, I know some. I feel like I'm not, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I am not just wise on the Bible. Right. I, I, you know, I try to read when I can, but I, I'm not just wise on the Bible. But I do pretty much know, I was right. raised to know what to do and what not to do. God okay. So I do know that. I do know. So, I mean, I'm not just, you know, I ain't going to say I'm perfect. I, right. No, nobody I, is. But I, I do try to do the right thing. I try to do the right thing. And we striving for per perfection, but we ain't telling you since you found out you Israel, you got to be perfect. Uh, give me Judges 5 and 11. Because this is, this is rehearsal. Like, you could take Michael Jordan, for instance. They say he the greatest basketball player ever to play. How did he become so great playing basketball? Oh, no, I'm talking to on the floor. You good, sis. How did, how did Michael Jordan become so great playing basketball? Practicing. Practicing. Right. He practice. That's right. Because he didn't just wake up out of bed and like, I'm the greatest basketball player ever. No. It, it took time. It took effort. So that's what God's telling us. To, to get to the level of fear and love, that we supposed to have to him, we got to put in the effort. We got to study, we got to pray, we got to apply. Read what you got. The book of Judges, chapter 5, and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. So the noise of archer, an archer is somebody that shoot a bow and arrow. So this is, this is um, 3,000 years ago. Our, uh, our foremother, Deborah, is writing a song. She said, the people that's going to get delivered from the noise of drawing archers, they didn't, they didn't have nuclear technology at that time. So the, the best way she could give an example was saying it looked like a bow and arrow, the noise of drawing archers. Because when somebody shoot an arrow, it don't make no noise. When you get hit with it, that's when you know somebody shooting an arrow at you. But she said, this these archers, it's a noise with it. She's talking about nuclear missiles. Right. She said, the people that's going to get delivered from that, what are they doing? Right? In the place, places of drawing waters. In the places of their captivity. Right? There shall they rehearse 
the righteous acts. The, the, the people that's practicing or rehearsing the righteous acts of God, the commandments. So that's what we are here to teach our people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the children of God, and we got to repent and keep God's laws. That's, that's right. right. So that's what we got to do, sis. That's, this, these are the requirements of God. Go back to Deuteronomy 10. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. So now we don't learn how to fear the Lord our God by keeping these commandments, by studying all his ways, all right? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. So the Bible said to walk in all the ways of God. When you was going to the Christian church, did they ever teach you the commandments of God was done away with? We had to keep the commandments no more. Have you ever heard that? Well, I know when I was growing up in the Christian church, they were telling me I ain't had to keep the, we didn't have to keep the commandments. Right. Hey, sis, have you ever heard that at church? That you ain't have to keep the commandments no more? They was done away with? We just living by faith and grace? Well, I heard that before. So I don't, I don't know what church y'all go to. That's right. That pastor must actually be teaching the Bible. <laughs> right. So uh, hold that. Give me 2 John 6. Cause I heard that my whole life. We saved by grace. We ain't got. We ain't under the law. We ain't got to keep the law. Second John six. Let's see in the in the New Testament what they saying about the commandments of God. Read. This is the book of Second John, verse six. Uh -huh. And this is love that we walk after His commandments. This is the commandment that, as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk it. Walk in it. So we got to walk in the commandments of God. So that's, what, that's why we are here teaching. That's how we fear the Lord. This is the requirement of God that we walk in his commandments. All right? Hey, since you know you Israel, do you know you were Israelite? You got to go? All right. I understand, sis. Hey, it's a website on their fly. Check it out when you get a, when you get a chance, all right? Yes, ma'am. So you know you were Israelite? Or do you believe you are Israelite? You don't know? So I'm going to show you in the Bible. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to show you some signs in the Bible. Start right verse 46. So this is what we out here doing. You see you see your nationality on this sign? What they call you today? Which one? Oh. American black? Yeah. Okay. That's the only one? West Indian. West Indian. So who, who West Indian? Your father or your mother? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you are God's chosen people. That's you are right. the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. These men in purple out here teaching you the greatest thing you ever going to learn. Your nationality according to God. Right. We got to wake up and repent. So, sister, which one is uh, West Indian, your father or your mother? My father. Your father. So, according to the Bible, get that in Numbers 1 and 18. You are Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. All right, that's your nationality. Because according to God, you are what your father is. Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. So, so you know what a pedigree is? God said they declared their pedigrees. So y'all know what a pedigree is? You know what a pedigree is? is? What's your name? Daisy. Daisy. So Daisy, a pedigree is your bloodline, your lineage. Like, like, you know, with uh, pit bulls or, or dogs or horses, they got a certain pedigree. So they will only try to mix them with a certain uh, breed to, to have a certain bloodline. So God saying your bloodline is according to what? And the assembly, excuse me, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So it's, it's according to your father. So that's why I told you you were Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin because you said your daddy is a is a West Indian. So so get that in Deuteronomy 28. So now we're going to go into some curses and show you how we know you were Israelite according to the Bible. Because have you ever heard of the Maroons from Jamaica? They used the Bible to revolt against the uh, captives, captives in Jamaica. Right. So, they, so when you listen to reggae music, they always talk about Babylon going to burn. That's this place. Right. They know the white man is Esau according to the Bible. 
that this is Babylon the Great, and these are our adversaries. So watch, watch what our forefathers knew that we lost the understanding of in Deuteronomy 28. Start at verse 15. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Yep. But it shall come to pass, if thy will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. So God said, if it shall come to pass, Daisy. That, that, that term, it shall come to pass, you know what that means? That not right now, in the future, something going to happen. So God giving us the good and the bad side. He said it's going to come to pass in the future. If we don't listen to God, what's going to happen? And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said curses were going to come upon us if we didn't listen and do what he told us to do. A curse is that good or bad? It's bad. So right. God said bad things going to happen to the so-called West Indian people. Right. Didn't the West, in West Indian people get enslaved, oh, yeah. brought on slave oh, ships yeah. to this side of the world? Didn't that happen? Yeah. Is that good or bad? Being enslaved, brought somewhere against your will, is bad. That's right. They lost they, they lost their true nationality, their language, all, all this, their history, their culture. They lost that because they ain't listen to God. Give verse 68. Did you know that? Did you know that God prophesied that in the Bible that the West Indian man and woman were going to slavery on slave ships? Because West Indian, that's just a term that was given to them in their captivity. Because you can't find West Indian or Jamaican or Trinidadian in the Bible. You can't right. find that in the Bible. That's right. So watch this. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God said the Israelites were going to Egypt again with ships. The word Egypt just means captivity or bondage. So he said, y'all going into slavery again, but this time y'all going on ships. Because do you know about Moses in the Bible? That the first time the Israelites walked out of Egypt. Because because Israel, where we from, is, is Northeast Africa. So, so Egypt is right here. So they just walked to this land right here. They walked right there. So... So, so read Deuteronomy 28, 68 again. So Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and they walked, they walked here on foot. So listen to what God's saying in the Bible. How you doing, sis? I'm doing fine. Uh, and we teaching Sister Daisy and our people out here that we the Israelites according to the Bible. That's we right. We going in showing the proof according to the Bible. Because we right. don't want you to just take our word. We want you to get the understanding of the scriptures and also take the information we're giving and go study for yourself. Right. Because this is the truth. It's, it's infallible. You can't disprove what we're bringing out right here. Right. You're not going to learn this nowhere else. Because only the Israelites got this knowledge. That's right. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So you know about Moses, sis? The history with Moses? God said y'all going into Egypt a second time again. But how we going this time? With ships. God says y'all walked out the first time, but this time y'all going into Egypt, into bondage, into slavery on ships, on ships, on cargo shaped slave ships. Hold that up, officer. God said y'all going into slavery or bondage on slave ships this time. You see that, sis? That's our history. This happened to us historically. So what we're bringing out right now is the Bible is a prophetic book. Right. This is this is a book of prophecy, the only book on the earth that got prophecies in it. That's the right. Quran don't got prophecies. Uh, no other book that any other religion is reading, Seti, Pan-Africanism, and Egyptology, the Book of the Dead, ain't no prophecies in that. Right. The Book of the Mormons, ain't no prophecies in that. Right. So let me ask y'all, uh, no, keep reading. Keep reading. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. So Moses is telling, the, he talking to the children of Israel in the wilderness. He said, the same way I'm telling y'all today, uh, 16, 19 is gonna come to pass if y'all don't keep these commandments. He didn't put the exact date now, but we know the prophecy done came to pass, so now we can put a date on you, only for you, so you can be able to see the history come out. You understand that? Okay. So in the transatlantic slave trade, we went into slavery on slave ships because we was breaking God's commandments. Read. I shall see it no more again. Come on. And there. And there. Jamestown, West Virginia. Dallas, Texas. New York. California. When we get out them slave ships, what's going to happen? And ye 
shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. Slave men and slave women to be sold. A cargo, Negroes. That was us. That was our foremothers and forefathers. Look That's at the sign. Right. We brought it out here for y'all to have a visual. They was in Jamaica. They was in America on the cotton field, picking cotton, picking uh, sugar cane, picking right. rice. This is what our people was doing. This is what God prophesied would happen to our people, sis. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.